Yes, all right. In respect to Bobriski, what I'm about to post now, um, a lot of names will be mentioned. Um, these are people that I also respect, and I believe a lot of Nigerians respect them as well. I am very, very disappointed in the agencies that are involved in this, and um, I believe that this call recording that I'm about to play, even Bobriski will not expect it. <laughs> that is what is crazy. But all the people that will be mentioned, I don't care. You understand? I don't care. And from today, no longer respect for all of you. You understand? Because all of them are the same. And it's pretty obvious that in Nigeria, the law only work against the poor people. You understand? Now, after this video, I would expect that the EFCC would do a deep investigation on everybody that is involved in this case. And also, they will bring the whole officers that participated in this and collected and spent this money that is involved. Thank you very much. So I will start by playing um, the call. As you can see, it is a call. Listen. You know, I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So my Facebook. And they are paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So I'm okay. So they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy a house of 450 million and pay no and we are staying in a Chevron, blah, 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 blah. The shah put the money laundry shah. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that, okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said we should go and bring 15 million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. Now, this is one part of the video. A lot of things will be unveiled. First things first, you heard it from Bobriski. Um, EFCC charged them, charged him 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge that was charged against him. If you remember, when this case against Bobriski starts, there was a money laundry charge, but from nowhere they removed, they dropped the money laundry charge. So obviously, Bobriski paid EFCC 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge. It's crazy that EFCC claim that they are fighting against financial crime do you understand but they are deeply involved in financial crime so they remove the money laundry anyways let's continue there's a lot of things in this um call recording up to my friend i called my friend you know because i can't use my account i wanted to send money from my account but he said i'm still under investigation i cannot withdraw from my account so i now called a few of my friends you know polanco Elele. Mm -hmm. That uncle here yeah, is my very good friend. So I called him. I told him. He was like, ah, no, I can't want to send the whole I can't want to send the whole thing. He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent eight million. Wait, he only sent the same year. Yeah. I was even shocked sure that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, ah, I'm getting here with a very nice person. So, I called Demola, Demola in New York, he knows my friend too. Mm -hmm. Demola sent one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. Absolutely. Demola sent me one million, yeah, Demola sent me one million naira immediately, transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who set me up. So let me not start calling the, the wrong people. Do okay, you understand? Sure. Uh, so I called the people I trust. So the, the money share complete fifteen million that I paid. They now remove money laundry. They now took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that. The so you heard him. After I paid the money to EFCC, EFCC removed money laundry, and they now removed that charge and took him for spraying money. Do you understand? So EFCC, you people collect money to drop charges. This is. And these are the people that want to fight for financial crime. Tomorrow night, you're going to tell us you will arrest Ayabelu. Are we sure that if you arrest him, you will not collect money for dropping charges? Wow. EFCC. This is crazy. But anyways, it doesn't end here. Let's continue. The old things, the old things started from, the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, right? That they gave me best female dress. Yes. That's yes, when the yes, old I things, did. yeah. Yeah, that's when the old days started from, you know, jealousy, everything. Mm, envy. So mm. we, shall, we shall have got to court. I shall have told them that I'm guilty that ah, maybe God will even pity me or say, oh yeah, 
pay fine I know. Or, or community service. Sadly, the court sent them to me. So, you know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me and said, you will not enter that prison. Don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. That is going to call the um, is going to call the controller in my that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja and I'm talk to them. The shall talk oh, before I come back, shall they now took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so fast. That the um, that the Oga, the Oga said that she that. come out. The Oga said they should come and keep me here that I mustn't um I mustn't go like enter data, but nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. You know. So they said the guy will call him money. They wanted to give them seven. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this Bob Risky's godfather that called the controller general of prison in Abuja and instructed him that he should not let Bob Risky to enter prison? And the controller general of prison now gave Bob Risky an apartment outside the prison. Do you understand? An apartment outside the prison that he should act, he should stay there and he will not enter the prison. So Bob Risky didn't go to prison, obviously. Basically, the prison, obviously, is for the poor men and for the poor masses. So this is how the EFCC come and lie to us. Say they don't prove somebody, they don't arrest one big man for financial crime. But they will not go arrest the man, they don't go sentence him or carry him. Go give him one law somewhere and he no go enter prison. This is what is going to, going on in Nigeria. Do you understand? The law is only against the common and the poor man. Now the poor man they go prison. But Bob Risky, one godfather somewhere. That godfather you go come out. And the controller of prisons. The controller general of prisons. You have to come out and defend this. If not, me, I will continue running your name online. The controller general of prisons. So this is how they call you to remove prisoners. Eh? After the court have sentenced a prisoner, you will remove them. But that's not all. Let's continue. Like millionaire, I had to call Elila again because there's nobody for me to call. Elila gave me, um, give me one, um, two million, the balance of two million. So now the, so I'm supposed to come out in, um, I'm supposed to come out in what's it called, ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty nine. Bad guy. His father is a is a son, so first reach out to me, his father spoke to me, his father said, we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon, the president, because you know it's... Wait, Faust the bad guy, I can't even believe this, Faust the bad guy contacted Bob Risky and Femi Falano contacted his father and his father, Femi Falano, spoke to Bob Risky in order to divert justice. And this same Faust, if this story is true, this same files, we have the audacity to come out and say he's fighting against the governments for oppression. That he wants justice, he wants Nigeria to be better. So that like this, you did carry yourself. I don't want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano will be Fela lawyer, where we respect. Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this. Wait, wait, wait. what is the relationship between files and Bobriski? I mean, Fals said they do. Oh, okay. Who are we to fight the homosexual? Most of them don't they evolve from time. Everybody. No, oh, now that song, they make sense to me. Wait, I be found self, they do. This is crazy. Well, anyways, let's continue. Hey, now, wow. Nigeria. It's mm -hmm. Fedra that, uh, my, my, my case is Fedra. That's all that. The federal can actually pardon me. That's the president. That mm -hmm. he can do it. That I, if, they, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay. So the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, minister of justice in Abuja. So minister of justice will now send it to president to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything. 
you take it fast to him. That the man, the lawyer said they will collect 10 million naira for him to get that. That pardon will clear my name off the record. Of the record, which is not yes. bad. That which exactly. So, you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends, so, but you know, you don't know who set you up, you know, and they've not opened my account. All right, so based on this first voice note, based on Bobriski's narration, in this uh, phone call, Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected 10 million Naira in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow! These are people I respected. These are people I look up to. Faust the bad guy always talking about, yeah, I'm speaking up for the people. So you are also involved in things like this. It's really, really disappointing. It's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon. It's obvious. Say Nigeria, no, I have lost 100% respect. Respect for this. Unless if they come and come defend this one, sin a lie. But for now, uh, we we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth. Because Bobriski said all these things, like he contacted uh, somebody to borrow him money, and the person recorded everything. Now, uh, just in case where Bobriski go on argue, let me drop. Zero eight. That's where your number ends with. So this is you. Actually, you cannot deny anything. So EFCC, I will expect you people to bring to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the doormat of justice. If you know you truly fight against financial crime, and this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody, and it's really crazy. And the controller general of prison, I don't know. I don't know what it happened, but it's almost as if, yes, I want to know the Godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them, instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him a lodge outside the prison. I don't know that it's allowed. I didn't know that was allowed. But anyways, there are more videos to come. Do you understand? This is just part one. First, part one. We'll see where part two they be. Don't play. <laughs> you gotta learn. You will learn the hard way. I don't care. Don't play.